Greetings, friends. Uh, something that I, I wanted to address, um, but I uh, I didn't think I'd be able to quite do it in text because text takes a lot and, and gets a little confusing. And I'm probably going to have to talk my my way through this to make sure I get it to uh, excuse me to to where I want it to be. So, um, all right. This thing happened in Colorado, another one of these mass murder shootings. And, of course, when one of those happens, there's the great argument, you know, does that mean we need more gun control or less gun uh, control regulation? You know, if everyone in the theater were armed, wouldn't that have taken care of the situation? Someone should have, could have shot this guy uh, before he managed to kill everybody. And, um, sorry, this is big storm that just started out of nowhere outside. <clears throat> anyway, uh, staying on point. So, um, I am not a, a pro-gun guy. Uh, I'm not. I, I abhor violence. I, I think death, uh, I mean death is um, murder and, and assault and things like that are, are completely unnecessary. Uh, especially for as as advanced a uh, a society as we like to think ourselves. Um, so I I I am not a pro gun guy. I understand guns. I was in the military. I've used them. Uh, members of my family hunt. I understand them. Um, I I don't use them myself. Now I don't think there needs to be an outright ban on guns across the board. No one's allowed to have them. Period. I don't I I don't subscribe to that. Uh, I, I do think there needs to be great limitations on what guns are available. Um, you know, should people be able to go out and purchase uh, 100 round drum magazines uh, for an assault rifle? Does that need to be available to the public? Well, no. There is no rational reason that anyone should have such a thing. There, there's, there's no need for it. Because the only thing that that weapon serves a purpose for is as a mass uh, killing machine. And no one needs that power at their fingertips just as, you know, John Q. Public. Um, you know, and, and, you know, hunting rifle, I understand. You hunt, you have a rifle to hunt. Uh, you know, uh, let's say you're a, you're a farmer or a rancher. Uh, or you live in the wilderness where wolves, bears, uh, coyotes, whatever, regularly frequent your property and in fact can endanger yourself or your property or, or your, your livestock or whatever, then I understand a rifle is a useful tool. Um, much beyond that, I think we're, we're looking at, you know, you want a weapon for weapon's sake. Uh, it, it is no longer a, a tool thing. It's, it's, a, it's beyond that. Um, now, the argument is that, uh, you know, if, if you make guns, uh, if you outlaw guns, only outlaws will have guns. And I, I fail to really see, I mean, I, I get what people are trying to say with that, but here's the thing. If you outlaw guns, only outlaws have guns. Well, then everyone who has a gun, boom, arrested, jail, done. No question, no argument. You know, it's not whether this gun is legal, this gun is not. If you have the gun, you go to jail, period. And then we don't have to worry about you out shooting somebody. You have a gun, you go to jail, done. Um... You know, we, we do that for people who walk around with, you know, pot. Uh, which, all right, pot doesn't even cause death to the person smoking it, uh, and we will send those people to jail. And yet we have this weird thing that, oh my God, you know, we got to have our guns, which guns are only useful for shooting things. That's it, that they serve no other purpose. You have a gun to shoot something. Um, now, now, uh, the, the argument, you know, if you outlaw guns, only outlaws have guns. Um, the the thing is, you know, the 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 people who have been committing the the mass murder tra tragedies 
that tend to set off this debate every time it comes up. Excuse me. Um, you know, whether it's Columbine or the Fort Hood shooting, which uh, Fort Hood shooting, you're on a military installation, probably plenty of people packing, and yet it still happened. Um, you know, it, it was not prevented uh, by that. Um, you know, this, this thing in Colorado. Um, these people are, are not people with criminal histories. They are standard John Q. Public as far as everyone is, is concerned. You know, this guy was, by all rationale up until this point, the standard, you know, normal person. There, there were no issues. I think he had a speeding ticket on his record, and that's about it. Um, and clearly, you know, him being an outlaw was not the case until this occurred. So he was your standard law-abiding citizen who had access to these weapons. You know, the thing is, we, we worry that, oh, you know, it, all these criminals are going to be out to get us. When these mass killings occur, it's not until a standard person who, ha who has no real history, who has the access to these guns, goes that little bit off the deep end or wh whatever it is that triggers such a thing. You know, same with the Columbine kids. Not, you know, running around with criminal uh, histories or anything. Um, you know, so the fact that these guns are, are available to anybody and everybody, you know, uh, who is just your standard citizen, that that's not solving the problem. Uh, because the people doing the killing are your standard citizen. It's not the criminals in, in cases such as these. Now, that's not to say that there aren't criminals out shooting, robbing, whatever. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm from the Chicagoland area. Uh, Chicago has its issues with guns. I understand this. Um, but I, the, the argument that, you know, your, your normal person in public isn't the one we need to worry about having guns, well, yeah, yeah, they really are. Um, you know, so, so that argument that, that gun regulation w wouldn't do any good isn't necessarily true. At the very least, limiting the type of weapons that people, you know, your, your everyday uh, Joe down the street limit limiting the access to weapons that they can acquire would prevent a lot of things like this if you make it that much more difficult for these people to get their hands on these weapons it might dissuade them uh, from going forth with plans like this or at the very least make it that much more difficult um, and, and and I think that's something that we need to consider uh, now again, I'm not saying we need to outlaw guns all uh, across the board. I understand their place, but you know, for for anyone who's out there wanting to buy guns because you know they use them to relieve stress, they go to the firing range and that's how they relieve stress. Well, that's a bad idea. You are you are training yourself that as as a stress release, you should pull the trigger. Now, I'm not saying everyone who does that is suddenly going to snap one day and go shoot people. But you are ingraining that idea into your head that to relieve stress, pull the trigger. You know, why not pick up a paintbrush, go to the gym, go for a run, find a piano, learn to write a song. There are far more productive ways to relieve your stress than the, the simulated uh, killing of something. Because if you're shooting at targets, you are still simulating uh, the the destruction and, and the damage of pulling the trigger at its intended target to destroy it. Um, you know, and, and for, I, and I, coming from the military especially, uh, I have plenty of friends who just want big, cool guns because they're cool. No, guns are not cool. Guns are weapons. They, they have no intended purpose other than to do damage and destruction and so wanting to have big loud uh, ridiculous over-the-top assault weapons just to have them is the wrong reason uh, you obviously do not have the respect that you claim to have uh, 
uh, for these weapons. You you can say, hey, I grew up around guns. I, I know all about them. I know all the, the safety procedures and how to properly handle them. But if you think a gun is cool, uh, you do not have the respect for a gun. A gun is not cool. A gun is a killing machine. That It serves no other purpose. And you can say guns are neither good nor bad. It's all about how you use them. But the fact of the matter remains, a gun exists to, at minimum, injure. That's it. it serve no other purpose. So... A, a gun in and of itself is a tool of injury. You know, and, and sure, you could you could say, well, I could kill someone with a knife too. Yes, but you can also slice bread with a knife. You can cut a rope with a knife. Uh, you can hack down uh, weeds or tree branches that are overgrown in your backyard with a knife. None of these other purposes uh, or any other purpose applies for a gun. A gun is to injure or kill. And that is it. Um, so any, any any other argument trying to say otherwise is, is just wrong. It is. There is no other purpose for a gun than to injure or kill. Period. Now, again, hunting, sure, you are injuring or killing to hunt. Now, why are you hunting? If you're hunting just for the sport of it, you probably need to rethink your, your uh, attitude towards other living beings. Now, if you hunt because there is an uh, uh, over-breeding uh, population of the animal that you are hunting, like deer, for example, uh, overpopulate in a lot of areas, uh, and the easiest way that has been found to uh, restrain the population is hunting. Um, and many hunters then take that food. Uh, the, the meat that is provided by hunting the deer and they eat that that meat and they provide that for their families and I understand that uh, same protecting your property from you know animals and whatnot understood uh, the idea that that you you have a gun in your house to protect yourself from other people statistically the numbers state that if you have uh, ownership of a gun you are more likely to die of gun violence. That, that, that's the numbers. The numbers state that you are more likely to die of gun violence owning a gun. So the idea that owning a gun is making you safer against people who, who own guns is wrong. Um, now, I'm not saying there aren't instances of people who have protected their families from, you know, a, a burglar or something by shooting that burglar. I'm not saying those cases don't exist. However, I am also saying that there is there there are just as many, if not more, cases of people who have been injured by their own weapons, uh, whose family members have been injured by those weapons, or who drew a gun and got into a firefight that escalated a situation and, in fact, ended up uh, harming more people than was necessary in the first place. Um, so, so all of, all of these arguments while having some point, when you really break it down, are invalid. Um, you know, and, and, and I'm not trying to impinge on anyone's rights here. And, you know, the, the whole thing, well, what if, you know, someday our government oversteps its bounds and, and, you know, this, that, and the other. As many states as there are in this country, and as, as much fight is, as there is between states and the federal government, over little things. Do you ever think our government is going to be able to get its shit together to a point where they they run the entire uh, nation from coast to coast? Do you think it's ever going to reach that point? You know, there, there are state and municipal police forces, uh, the National Guard, the Army itself. There are so many other people who are who are licensed and armed with purpose between us and and that potential uh, situation that it's an outdated argument uh, and then look look at uh, look at Egypt which managed to overthrow its its government without uh, coming to a, a situation where they stormed the capital with guns uh, the, the argument is is not it's not there 
You can say it's there, and you can hypothesize all you want, but it's not there. Um, now, I understand completely and wholeheartedly, no one's mind is going to be changed by listening to me. I get that. Gun, guns in America is just one of those things uh, that's up there with religion, and people's minds are not going to change on this. It's, it's just one of those things that everyone holds on to you're either for guns or you're against guns and as I, I've stated I'm not for or against guns in principle what I am is for practical uh, application of law in regards to guns you know there are guns which can have a purpose in the general populace but by and large most weapons do not serve that purpose and they have no business uh, being available to everyone across the board. That is simply not the case. And to try and argue that that should be the case is wrong. It's just wrong. And it allows for more situations like this to occur. And we, we do more harm than good by discussing the people who carry out these attacks and these, these mass killings uh, than we do any, uh, any sort of good. By, by creating a, a sort of celebrity uh, status uh, and, and, and a, 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 a cult of celebrity around these killers. We are glamorizing them, whether intentional or not. And that kind of attention is what breeds more people to do this. People who feel they are ineffective in their lives. They have no attention. No one... Uh, Pay, pays them any mind. Well, if I commit such an act, I will have the attention. I will have the control over my environment. By, by continually paying attention to these people and, and giving them 24-hour news coverage, we are creating these, these instances. The, the best thing that can be done is have rational discussions about the situations and, and how they are created and work on diffusing these and preventing them from happening and pay no mind to who is actually doing this. Of course, mourn for the victims, especially if you know them, but by giving this kind of attention to the killers themselves, all you are doing is enforcing the, the attitude that committing such an act can be a way to get power, to get respect, to get the attention that people who do such things so desperately seem to crave. That is why I, I, I will not address uh, these people by name. I, I will not uh, give any, any details beyond the, the situation itself that occurred because these people are not to be looked upon with this much attention by the general public that it is a, it is a, uh, an unfortunate situation that occurred there is no question about it and, and I by no means wish to um, uh, sound sound as though I am trying to downplay the, the seriousness of, of what happened or or uh, did uh, decrease the the tragedy uh, uh, for the, the lives that were lost and the people who are connected to those lives. Um, you know, I'm not saying those things don't need to be uh, respected, uh, but what I'm saying is we, we need to end this, this attention that we give to these people because that is yet another factor that is doing far more harm than good within our, our national debate about these issues. Uh, so that that is that is my take on the entire situation. Um, I, I welcome any discussion that anyone would wish to have. Like I said, I, I do not in any way, shape, or form expect to change any minds, and, and understand that you're not going to change a whole lot of my thoughts on this. Uh, not now. That's not to say that I am closed-minded, and I, I will not. Uh, you know, uh, address the, the merits and the pros and cons of any argument that is brought for me. I've changed my mind on issues in the past. Uh, once upon a time, I was pro-death penalty. Uh, I, I, I have since changed my status on that. 
Um, you know, I, I do change my mind on things. Uh, but that is only after I, I weigh all the options. Um, so by all means, if, if, if you seek to, to sway me on this, uh, let's, let's engage in discussion. But uh, understand, by and large, I, I simply do not see where our uh, addiction to bigger, better, louder, faster, crazier firearms in this country uh, comes from no no other nation has this uh, the, no no other industrialized uh, nation no other first world nation has this and some of them have just as many guns per capita as we do but they 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 do not uh, look at them the same way we do as a nation and they, they especially in terms of what kinds of guns they want to have. Um, but anyway, I've, I've gone on long enough, I've been long-winded enough, and I've, I've made my point. Uh, so that having been said, uh, there it is. Thank you for your, your time uh, and, and attention, uh, and, and I, now, uh, I now open it up for comments, uh, which I'm sure will be uh, interesting, to say the least. Uh, thank you, and uh, you all have a nice day.